Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you a bunch of different places where you can get paid to test websites, apps, and video games. And I'm going to divide these up into three sections. So the first section is apps, second is websites, and third is video games. So you're going to be able to get paid to get these things tested. So the first category, of course, is apps. There's a couple apps I want to show you. One is user feel dot com and you can click become a tester up there at the top and then you can download the app for your phone and basically you get paid ten dollars or so per test via paypal it takes about 15 to 30 minutes per test and you get to test different apps and websites but you're doing it from your phone instead of your regular computer so that's one that you might want to check out that is userfeel.com. Check out userfeel, of course, in your uh, app store as well if you get approved. Then we have one called Feature Points, which is basically an app that pays you for a lot of different things like surveys, videos, getting cash back from online shopping, referrals, and they also pay you for downloading apps and trying them out. Many of these are games like Clash of Clans, or you know something like Candy Crush or Angry Birds or whatever something like that you know they have a lot of different types of games they also have things like Facebook Messenger and you know other apps as well but you get paid to test out these games and you can get this app for both Apple and Android devices you can cash out as you can see on the left side here via gift cards via cash which includes PayPal via Bitcoin you can also use your purchase or you can use your points towards in-app purchases as well. So those are two apps that you can do different types of testing with on your phone if you want to do it via mobile. If you want to do testing of apps and websites via your computer, you can start with a site like userzoom.com. UserZoom pays you around $2 for a standard survey and about $10 for an audio slash video test. So if you actually have a more complex test that includes audio and video, it'll be about $10. And then you, it's a 10 to 20 minute time to complete a test. All you got to do is go to userzoom.com and go to join our panel in the top right next to customer login. That'll redirect you to IntelliZoom. And this is where you can get paid to become a tester. Another site like that is called user testing. User testing is one of the more popular ones like these. And sometimes there's a lot of testers on here and it can get kind of crowded. So that's why I recommend you get on multiple sites so that you always have more opportunities. Um, user testing though pays you very well. If you go to get paid to test up there in the top of the page, you'll notice that they pay up to $60 per test and you get paid via PayPal, which of course is very convenient. And you get $10 for just a regular test, which only takes about 20 minutes to complete. So you do this via video, you you know click around and do different things on a video as you watch the video. And then you uh, answer questions and all of that. It's usually either apps or websites that you are testing and you share your thoughts. So user testing is another good one. You can also check out testingtime.com and testing time pays you up to $50 per test. They also pay you via PayPal. Just go to the top right where it says become a test user. And that's where you can sign up to do this and get paid. So you just accept these different jobs. You test it, you get paid. You might have to use Skype for this one. Um, so hopefully you're familiar with how to use Skype. Another one is TryMyUI.com. TryMyUI is a, another site like user testing and many of the others that you can use on your computer. You do a 15 to 20 minute test and each test pays about $10, which is a you know fairly typical rate in this type of industry. So TryMyUI.com, get paid to test. Click that link up there in the top right to get paid to test and you can fill this out here. You get paid via PayPal and then click submit and you can hopefully start doing a few tests there. 
Then you have Userlytics. Userlytics requires you to have a webcam and mic for you to do tests here. So if you're not someone who has those things, you might want to get those or just move on to a different site. But $10 per test as usual. But again, this one requires you, you to actually use a webcam and mic to do your testing. So uh, tester sign up in there in the top right of userlytics.com. Click that and that's where you can get paid. So as much as $90 for, for basically taking these tests. That's about the maximum. And then you have utest.com. So this is another one um, that allows you to test different websites and apps and those types of things. You get around $12 per hour on average that you spend testing things with utest.com. So you get paid via PayPal and the minimum to cash out via PayPal is $10. So once you have at least $10 in your account, you can cash out. So just click join utest or sign up and then make sure you sign up as a tester and you can test all sorts of websites and stuff then you have analysia.com so analysia.com allows you to get paid about ten dollars for a 10 to 15 minute review of some sort of website and sharing your opinion so as far as that goes that's all you really have to know as far as qualifying they have all of this stuff covered on the application page where uh where it is at analysia.com slash user so that's where you can sign up and then you have what users do.com then you can get paid to get paid to do these different website tests and do these on desktop, tablet, and mobile devices. Just click become a tester right there. And this pays you about $8 or so per test. You get paid via PayPal. This one takes about 15 to 20 minutes per test and does require you to have a microphone. So make sure you have a microphone for this one. You can go to uh, the become a tester page and then just click that orange button right there to sign up. Make sure you have uh, some of this stuff read and understand exactly what you might be able to do. This one, you only have maybe three to five tests per month. So you're not going to make a whole lot of money from just what users do.com, but it can be part of a kind of network of these testing sites that you're a part of. Enrollapp.com is another one, and they are five to 10 minute tests. They pay you 10 cents to $1.50 per test or so. $1 is the minimum cash out. So this is one of the lower paying ones, but you do get paid via PayPal and you can make a little bit of extra money and it's at enrollapp.com. And last but not least for the website testing ones that you can do on your computer, you can do Startup Lift. This is at startuplift.com. You get about $5 per test. They also pay via paypal so this is the kind of page that has all of that you need to know of course i'll i'll link to all of this stuff in the show notes for you so then we have the last section which is video games so if you want to get paid to test video games you can start by going to nintendo.com where they actually have a game tester section so every once in a while they might hire you to do game testing you may need to be located near redmond washington in the united states so you kind of need to be in that area but if you are and you like playing video games and especially nintendo video games you can get paid to uh, do those there just go to nintendo.com slash corp slash tester and another one of course is rockstar games so if you like playing grand theft auto if you like playing red dead redemption and games like that, you might be able to get a testing job here at rockstargames.com. It's probably a pretty rare thing to happen. Like I haven't seen one here lately, but um, there might be some that pop up by the time you watch this video or if you check back in every once in a while. So you can uh, play these different games from time to time as a game tester. You can do this in the UK or the United States. Just go to the rockstargames.com slash careers, go to their openings and see what they have available and look for something that has to do with uh, game testing and something along those lines. 
You also have Blizzard. Blizzard is another company that makes video games. And uh, one of them that they are known for is World of Warcraft, which is very popular around the world. And it typically has some openings here and there for game testers as well. You just have to check their jobs page. Go to careers.blizzard.com to check for their jobs. But they do sometimes have them. Again, I know they have a loyal fan base for a lot of different games. You'll also notice that sometimes they mention which game it is. You have World of Warcraft, you have Diablo, You'll, they'll mention what game you would be working on. So uh, they have all sorts of jobs you might like, but as far as game testing, you might just check in every once in a while. Then you have VMC Global Testing Network. So this is at vmc.com. VMC allows you to play uh, basically AAA multiplayer console and PC games before they are released. So you can go to vmc.com Go to the join page and you can hopefully find something you can apply now um, and keep an eye on their page for openings as far as being able to get paid to test. So services, global beta test network, that's probably where you want to go. Just under services, you can go under there and hopefully apply and find something for game testing. You can also go to... Um, you can also go to iGame Lab, which is, you can check it at community.panelpoles.com, but My Game Lab, or iGame Lab, is a part of Panel Polls, obviously, but it lets you test online games, it lets you test apps and mobile games, and uh, those types of things. Also, you can test websites, but you receive about 10 to $15 per month. You're not going to make a whole lot of money doing this, but um, if you go to community community.panelpulse.com and go to the iGame Lab page. You can click join iGame Lab and just get paid a little bit every month, you know, maybe enough to cover your Netflix account and you just basically play games and, and check out websites and stuff. Then you have Beta Family. Betafamily.com allows you to get rewarded for uh, testing different games. And as far as uh, doing this, you can also do apps as well. Some of these are mobile games, so it's not going to all be like console games, but you can sign up as a tester here when you're at betafamily.com. It's at the very bottom. Just click sign up as a tester, and you end up on this page here, and then you just fill this out and submit. Then you have betabound.com. It allows you to become a beta game tester without requiring much experience. So you don't really need much to apply here, but you do need to be 18 years of age or older. So betabound.com, another place you can check out and uh, you can be a beta tester and just join the community here. Click the get started button. It'll be at my.betabound.com slash welcome. Then you have betatesting.com. Betatesting.com allows you to get paid to test apps, websites, games, and even products as well. So beta testing is another one that you might check out. It's kind of just a, you know, one size fits all testing type of thing, but you give feedback on bugs and uh, what you think about it. And then you have 10 to $20 for each test. Then you have Android Central. They have a forum here where a lot of people like developers and stuff will have people test They'll beta test these Android apps and Android games. These They have all kinds of inquiries on here all the time. A lot of people um, post stuff like that on the forum, or at least a few times a year. You'll see stuff like that usually. So that's at forums.androidcentral.com. You go to developer beta testing, and then look for the latest post. You'll see some, like you might see like one per month or something like that. And uh, it'll be looking for people to specifically beta test new games uh, for Android. And then last but not least, Tech Advisor has a forum with a beta testing section as well. You can check that out at techadvisor.co.uk. And it won't be as often that you see inquiries for beta testing as, say, Android Central, but you may be able to find some places um, or some posts that involve beta testing different games. So every once in a while, you might see one or two a year or something along those lines. 
but um, just go to techadvisor.co.uk slash forum and look for beta testing. And of course, I'll have a direct link to it in the show notes for you. So those are some of the ways you can get paid to test all kinds of stuff like apps, websites, and video games. Hopefully you thought this was helpful. If you did, let me know in the comments or suggest something that I cover in the future. And I will have more of these types of things at the playlist there at the top right. More ways to make money, more websites to check out that you might be interested in. Um, if there's, If you're still looking for more out there, I probably covered it on this channel with over a thousand videos and you can also check selfmadesuccess.com for the show notes and other blog posts related to this kind of stuff. So hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.